In today's video, Vasily Lomachenko was defeated by Devin Haney in the most important match of his career to determine the undisputed world champion. Ukrainian tennis player Sergei Stokhovsky, now serving in the armed forces of Ukraine, publicly criticized Lomachenko and together with the chief of the Azov regiment, they offered to exchange Lomachenko for captured Ukrainians. Why do so many people not like Lomachenko in his own homeland? We're gonna find out. Also in the video, UFC President Dana White once again indirectly accused Francis Ngannou of cowardice. And then at the end of this video, Kamaru Usman goes all in. Dana White said that Usman literally demands that he organize a fight against Hamzat Chimaev. Now, despite the obvious risk, Kamaru wants to finally break the big jackpot and at the same time regain his reputation. So we're going to see what's all going on. Before we start the video, I want to ask you, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We have a little bit left and we will be at 60,000. So thank you very much in advance to everyone who helps support our channel. Ukrainian Vasily Lobachenko failed to become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, having suffered a very controversial defeat in the fight with American Devin Haney at the top rank event in Las Vegas. The fight ended up going the whole distance, following the results of 12 rounds of which the judges, by unanimous decision, scored at 116-112 and 115-113 twice, giving the victory to the undefeated champion. But it is clear that this decision will be talked about for a very long time. Lomachenko's manager called the results of the fight the biggest robbery and then promised to appeal and many are agreeing with him. The audience at the event greeted the judge's verdict with a very dissatisfied roar. They consider Lomachenko should have won the match. He set the pace of the fight and confidently took the championship rounds. At the same time, the official statistics of the match confirm the advantage of the Ukrainian boxer. Well, Lomachenko is south four. He's gotten a little older. Maybe his hands aren't quite as fast as they used to be, but his feet. In an interview after the fight, Haney said that he considers his victory absolutely legitimate, and Lomachenko made it clear that he was not going to be ending his career. However, he evaded answering the question about any future plans. 35-year-old Lomachenko suffered his third professional defeat. Now, it should be mentioned that recently, Lomachenko was added to the list of individuals deemed disloyal to the state of Ukraine. The reason behind his inclusion was several Instagram posts where he is accused of collaborating with Russian occupiers. Even the Ukrainian tennis player Sergei Stokhovsky, now serving in the armed forces of Ukraine, publicly criticized Lomachenko. And together with the chief of Azov regiment, they offered to exchange Lomachenko for captured Ukrainians. Many of his compatriots are accusing Lomachenko of the fact that since the beginning of the full-scale war of the Ukrainian people against Putin's army, he has never publicly criticized the policies of the president of the Russian Federation and has not even expressed his own position. Even recently, Lomachenko posted a new post on social media, on the contrary, in actually support of one of the Metropolitans who, as many claim, he blessed the Russian army to bomb Ukrainian cities. Now, do you believe such accusations against Lomachenko? We want to hear your thoughts on this matter, so please feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. And moving on. Now, before making his debut in the PFL, the Cameroonian heavyweight plans to participate in a boxing match, which is permitted by his existing contract with the organization. Dana White criticized the PFL for paying Ngano for a boxing fight that may not even take place highlighting the problem of circus-like fights in boxing, which he does not support. White revealed that Ngano had the opportunity to make a deal with the UFC, but the fighter believed that he was in a position similar to Conor McGregor, capable of securing a fight with someone like Floyd Mayweather, which White disagreed with. He expressed his opinion that MMA fighters facing boxers generally do not make sense to him, despite Ngano's belief in the potential financial gain. Also, UFC President Dana White once again indirectly accused Francis Ngannou of cowardice. Francis wants to take zero risks, doesn't want to take any chances, um, 
and he did, obviously didn't want to take a chance against John Jones. And after we saw what happened with Cyril gone, you know, I, I don't blame him. I think the outcome would have been exactly the same. And I'm sure most of you do, and I'm sure Francis does too. Now, regarding rumors of PFL's intention to acquire Bellator, White questioned the business strategy of the PFL and the feasibility of attracting investors who would want to invest $300 million in purchasing Bellator. He highlighted the financial struggles, the lack of ratings, and ticket sales of both organizations, stating his skepticism about the supposed genius plan. Now, while wishing PFL success, White emphasized that their approach was not aligned with the UFC's philosophy and stated that their activities were not in line with what the UFC stands for. As per the terms of the deal, 36-year-old Francis Ngannou will compete in Super Fight Division, where fighters receive a significant portion of the revenue from pay-per-view sales. Additionally, Ngannou was appointed as the head of PFL's African Division and gained a position of the league's advisory council representing the interests of all fighters. But many believe that Francis Ngannou has no one to fight in the PFL. For example, one of them who thinks so is Conor McGregor. Who is he going to fight? Who is he going to fight in order to attract the attention of the general public? There is nobody there. I can't even imagine a single fight that will bring success, said the former champ. Now everything in the world comes to an end. Even Kamaru Usman's dominance in the UFC the longtime welterweight champion recently stepped down for good, losing in a rematch to Leon Edwards. After the first fight, it seemed that Usman only lost by a lucky knockout, but the second meeting finally put everything in place. Kamaru is no longer a champion, and it is not certain that he will ever be one again. But nevertheless, the Nigerian nightmare continues his career and does not look for easy ways of getting there. For example, UFC President Dana White said that Kamaru Usman is literally demanding that he organize a fight against Hamzat Shimaev. It's no secret that Usman wants this fight. Usman literally came to my office to ask for a fight with Shimaev. I told him that he is one of the best we have ever worked with, but I will not fight at catchweight. So far I can't say anything, but we are doing everything to organize a fight for Hamzat, White said at the press conference after the UFC Vegas 73 event. Now, Usman's courage can only be envied. After all, a defeat from Chimaev can really send him into retirement, or at least deprive him of his superstar status. But a possible victory over Hamzat? It's not really going to give him a whole lot of recognition as it's not even a title fight. But on the other hand, the end of the Nigerian Nightmare's career truly isn't far off. He needs to earn as much as possible before having to hang up his gloves. And right now, he can hit the jackpot with Hamzat and, most importantly, restore his reputation. But for Kamaru Usman, a fight with Shimaev is incredibly dangerous. Regardless of the weight class in which the fight would take place, Kamaru will undoubtedly be physically smaller than his opponent. Usman's primary strength is his powerful wrestling, but it's unlikely that Shimaev will concede to him on the ground. With striking, Boers will undoubtedly outmatch the former champion whose only real advantage might be his experience. Now, despite the evident risk, this is a high-stakes match that could substantially alter the trajectories of both fighters' careers. So, that is all for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it is very important to us, and thank you all in advance.